All right, so we're gonna do a spray today on a female cat. We're gonna do a one clamp technique of the uterus. Straight away we find umbilicus, pubis, thirds, middle third, big and bold, through the skin. Similarly, big and bold through our sub subcutaneous tissue to expose that linear album. Just there. Very thin, not very obvious linear alba. We pick up the linear alba with our forceps and we carefully, with a blade in and up, go through the linear alba. Pop in our mats and balms, make sure we're through. Extend that along the length of the linear alba. And find our uterus. Spay hook, as always, facing rostral, caudal, cranial caudal, uh, going along the body wall until you hit the dorsum, turn it towards the midline, march it towards the midline, come up, along the body wall to the dorsum, turn it towards the middle, march it slowly towards the midline, come up, didn't get anything, slowly repeat the process, each time, just being very cautious, a big bladder. So the number one reason why you won't be able to find a uterus easily is normally because the bladder is in the way. We got it. So, uterine horn, uterine artery running along it, ovary, we've got our Varian duct on the top, so it's in the right orientation. I can fan out my ovary and see the anatomy, ovarian kind of artery, suspensory ligament. Got enough room, so I'm not gonna do anything to improve my exposure. I'm just gonna go ahead, hold in the broad ligament. put on our single hemostat. Grabbing our suture material. As we only have one hemostat today, do one ligature above. Four or five. Cut that away, and as you would normally do, one ligature below. This time around, we don't have a crush spot to put it in. That's fine. We're well away from our hemostat. As always, we're just gonna hold tension five to 10 seconds to make the knot take on the memory of the suture. Make the suture take on the memory of the knot. And then continue on four to five throws on top. We do our checks as always, so we have a look, we make sure that our ligature is not stuck in any subcutaneous tissue. You see there's a little bit there, so we're just gonna flick it out. Good. We have a look at our ligature, we make sure it looks nice and tight. In the cap, there should never be any question. We've got plenty of tissue above our ligature. I'll run along that top, top of the hemostat there. As always, we carefully lower it back into the abdomen, the ovarian pedicle, watching for bleeding. Good. Broad ligament, we have a look, make sure there's no vessels there. You can either digitally break it down or you can just use some scissors. Always away from that uterine artery. Pulling back, grab the next horn, We move forward. 
This is a classic example of sometimes the bladder is in the way restricting you to actually get exposure. It's actually a very common issue. Sometimes you're not aware of it. The trick is obviously to get that bladder out of the way. And that shows you being able to get all the way to the ovary. Same deal. Good exposure, suspensory ligament. Ovarian artery, single hemostat on. Getting our ligature above. And our ligature below. As it's a cat, we don't have to do a surgeon's knot, we could just do a square knot. Holding the tension for up to 10 seconds to make sure the suture takes on the memory of the knot. And then just following that up with four to five throws. Just like last time we do our check, so we make sure that our knot is not tied in the, at the top there. It doesn't have subcutaneous tissue in it, which it doesn't, which is good. We have a look, we have a nice wad of tissue above our knot. Uh, we have nice ligature. And we'll run our blade on the top of our hemostat. And as always, we carefully lower a pedicle into the abdomen, watching for bleeding. Cool. Just like before, we have a look at our broad ligament. We make sure there's no vessels in it, which there isn't. We make a hole near our uterine artery and we digitally or with scissors cut away. Close to the cervix, we're going to place our hemostat, crush once, release it, come up. Because there's a little bit more tissue here, we will surgeon's knot to make sure that the ligature doesn't undo itself. Holding for five to 10 seconds. A bit of tension. And following with four to five throws. Just like before, we make sure that our ligature is not stuck in any subcut tissue at the top. We hold in a way that we're not going to be occluding the vessels. Have a look, slowly release into the abdomen. And then we move on to our closure. Have a quick look into the abdomen, make sure there's no welling or blood. As you can see, no blood whatsoever. The cats are good, they have a very defined external rectus sheath. As we close our linear alba, we're just engaging that external rectus sheath only. Uh, it's the strength holding layer.
Ash, can I have some blue paper cane, please? Ash down. Ask some big pivot cane, please. Yeah. Thank you.